Alright guys, uh, another question on rotation. We are given that there are two discs A and B and each experience a net external torque that varies over an interval of 5 seconds. Disc B has a rotation inertia that is twice of disc A and the graph shows the angular momentum L of these two people, these two discs actually, as functions of time which means 0 and 5 seconds. The average magnitude of net torque exerted on discs A and B from 0 to 5 are T1 and T2, tau 1 and tau 2 rather. Which of the following expression correctly relates the magnitude of the So we need to basically find the ratio or the relationship between the two torque. Okay. Uh, now we know that uh, what is the relationship between torque and angular momentum and uh, uh, time. So the slope, uh, because we know that torque is d l, delta L over delta T, right? So basically the slope of v, of L versus T gives the torque. Now we're looking for the average value. So the average between these two points, the average, um, you know, the average slope of B is going to be this. And the average slope of A is going to be the green one. Okay, let's find the slope of the blue one. That's just rise over run. Rise is 20, run is 5. So it's 20 over 5, which is 4. And for the green one, the rise is 10 and the run is 5. And 10 over 5 is just 2. So clearly the torque of this one, which is B, right? The solid line is B. So this is torque B, this is torque A. So torque B is two times of torque, torque A, which is option B. It was a pretty straightforward question provided we know this relationship. And obviously average just means that I'll just connect the initial and final positions and that will give me the average slope of this entire situation.